Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be checking out the aftermath of SDCC. So let's get started. Alright guys, so today is a couple days after San Diego Comic Con. All of the exclusives here in Canada came out on the 23rd, or at least most of them did because some of the stores didn't get them in at all. And so today we're going to be going over to EB Games just to check out to see what they got in, or even if they got in more figures because they did get in a few and they said they'd be getting in some more pretty soon. So we did get these two last time. We got the Super Tails and Super Silver, which is this set right here. It's actually a really, really, really great set. So I'm going to see maybe they got more of these in. Um, and they only did get in a couple of their exclusives. There was two others that they were missing, which was the, um, which one was it? It was the Hello Kitty robot as well as Mr. Freeze. So I want to see if they might have those two today. I'm not too sure. But the ones that we had seen were this one, the 10 inch, the thing, as well as the flocked Vulpix. So fingers crossed they'll have some of those or even more of this because I did buy the last one at the store, so I'm wondering if they're going to be getting in restocks of this figure here. I'm not too sure, but that's what we're going to be going to check out today. And with other stores like Toys R Us, I actually have a little bit of news for you. Let me pull it up real quick because I do have some info on the Toys R Us Canada here. So, I DM'd them on Instagram and said, by any chance do you know which days the SDCC Pops will be available in stores? And they said they will start hitting shelves mid-August. This will all depend on store location and delivery truck schedule. So, that probably means that most of them are going to be getting them in on time, probably sometime between like the 15th to the 20th. I'm not too sure exactly, but expect these mid-August. And if you guys are wondering why Toys R Us was such a big deal for SDCC, it's because they got in the bulk of the exclusives here in Canada. They actually got in Ripley, Blast Attack, Cyborg Superman, Mewtwo Flocked, Stan Lee, Wade Wilson, Marty McFly, Clawful, and Ray Zal Ghoul. And for some reason, the website said they were going to be going up at 12 a.m. the day of the 23rd, and then they didn't come out then. Then Toys R Us pushed it back to 3 a.m., and then it didn't come out then. And then, like, later around, like, 9 or 10 in the morning, they kind of came out. They had very few go up on the website. And then, for some reason, it just went off the website, and now they all say, coming soon. So, fingers crossed to anybody that didn't get them online, they can get them mid-August in stores. And then I have some news on my Hot Topic personally. They got in the other two that they had been missing. So on the first day of San Diego Comic-Con, they did not get in any of the figures. There was the three of them that were exclusive to there. It was Bakugo, Nightcrawler, and the Super Saiyan God Goku. And I was lucky enough to get a couple of the Super Saiyan God Gokus to get some for myself, as well as help out you guys that missed it, and some of my friends. And then the day after the Super Saiyan God Goku came in, they got in the Bakugo as well as the Nightcrawler, but they sold out so quick, I couldn't even do a hunt on them. And I think the problem is with Hot Topic is they limit them to five per person. I feel like they should limit it to maybe one or even two. I think two is the max that somebody should be able to buy. Because to be honest, I'm looking at the photo here. They got in at least 20 or 30 different Bakugos, but that's only a couple people if everybody buys five. But I mean, I don't really care just because Bakugo wasn't one that I was really, really hunting for. I'm sure we'll be able to get it later on. I know it was one of those really sought after characters and I feel like it's going to be going for like 100 to $150 for a little while there and maybe it'll die down a bit. I'm not too sure. But anyways, now let's go over to EB Games and and check out what stock they've got over there. Oh, also, I forgot to mention chapters because they did get in the Harry Potter exclusive here, and yeah, there's no news on that. They literally have absolutely nothing. All right, guys, I made it over to EB Games, so let's go in and see what's new. Hey, guys, so up at the front here, they actually have a lot of really cool figures. The uh, ones that I see here is these Super Tails and Super Silver. They actually seem like they got in another one, because I know when we came on the first day, they only had one of them. Or no, they had two, and I got one, and then Funky Mon got one. But then I also see some other stuff as well. They have the Dungeons & Dragons 2-pack, which I've never seen in person before this thing looks great and then also guys i noticed the jack skellington in fountain i don't know if i have this one but i don't know if i'm going to get it today just because it is a cool set but i don't know if i have anywhere to put it right now but it's still really cool and then we also have the uh, mom and rider which we picked up a little while ago fox from persona 5 the morty with laptop uh tyrell i think is how you pronounce it from diablo here this one was supposed to be an e3 exclusive so it's cool that they got it in already and um other than that it seems to be all the new stuff. I mean, they do have the Skeletor up here. We're also going to check out the back to see what's over there. But for right now, some pretty cool stuff up here. Guys, this one was hidden in the back here, but we did find a He-Man one. This is from the new set for the Masters of the Universe. You guys can see there's the set right there. And this one is a pretty nice set, I will say. Hey guys, so I also noticed back here there's a couple different figures I wanted to show off. And uh, one of them being the Alan Dutch here from Predator. That is a really cool one. I'm thinking of maybe picking that one up today just because I did get the other Predator one a little while ago. You know, it's not on the back there. Um, but this is a nice figure. When he's coming out of the mud, I thought this was a cool one. So I might get that one. And then another one that I saw was they got in the new Harry Potter one. So like the Harry Potter with Cloak as well as Albus Dumbledore. I'm thinking of possibly getting the Harry Potter with cloak i don't know yet but this is a nice one i know there was a funko shop version it was just a little different than this one so i'll probably just get the common one um but there was another one too oh 22 grinning here this one i think i'm finally going to pick up today because it only seems like they're getting in the one for us right now so maybe i'll get these three today 
I'm not too sure, but I'm still gonna keep looking just to see if there's anything else that I wanna get. I also noticed down here, guys, that they have the new Pokemon ones as well as the Child with Frog. And then a couple other ones over here, like the Squidward Tentacles, stuff like that. Um, they have the Rattata as well as Pikachu and the Ultraman ones, but it looks like I'm probably just gonna be getting the three, but again, I'll still keep looking. Hey guys, for the other SDCC pops, they also have some of the Vulpix here. I did pick one up, so I'm not gonna be getting one today, but it's still a pretty cool pop. All right guys, so we're now back from EB Games, and I wanna show you guys everything that we got, but before we do that, let's talk about the stock that they had of SDCC figures over at EB Games. Because I did notice they had a lot of Vulpix left. They had probably 10 or 11 of them. I'm not too sure, but they did have a couple anyway. Because they did have a good amount of the Vulpix in, they probably had about 10 or 11. I'm not too sure the exact count, but there was a good amount. And then this one kind of surprised me. So this is the set that I had bought the other day, but they did have in another Super Tails and Super Silver, which was one of the most sought after figures over at EB Games and GameStop. So I was kind of surprised to see this one today. Um, and it didn't seem like they got in any of the other figures again. And the only figure that they had sold out of completely was the Zombified The Thing. Also, they did not get in any of the other figures being the Hello Kitty or the Mr. Free so it is too bad that they don't have those ones yet, but I'm sure they'll be coming sometime soon. Well, anyways, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go through some of the figures that I picked up today. Starting with this one right here, I was gonna do a full hunt on them, but it seems like they've only been getting in the two figures of this, and they only had the one from Soul today. So I got the 22 Grinning. And this movie here, I don't know too much about it, but these figures do look really great. I know there's Joe Gardner as well as Mr. Mittens, and then there's the Joe Gardner Soul World 22, Moonwind Soul World, Mr. Mittens Soul World, and then 22 Grinning. And the one that I got today was the 22 Grinning. And if you guys want to see the back of the box there with the entire set, there it is right there. I don't really know what the difference is between the 22 and the 22 Grinning. I mean, if I want to get the entire set, maybe I'll get both of them, but they are very similar. And you never know, this could be one of those movies that does really, really well in the box office, so you might want to pick up some of these figures before the film comes out, because it could be the next big hit. And I wanted to check this out out of the box just because it's got some really great detail to it. I like the way he's kind of like floating. It almost looks like he's bobbing. And I like how one side is like that orangish yellow and then the other side is kind of purple. I don't know guys, just overall, this is a very interesting character and I'm super excited to see what the movie's like. And when I said this movie kind of reminded me of Inside Out, it kind of reminds me of like your inner feelings chatting with each other, but it seems like this one here, souls can chat with each other in the soul world, not just your own emotions inside your head. So it is very different, but it is a really neat concept for a movie and I'm excited to watch it. And I am really excited about the rest of the set as well, like Mr. Mittens and Joe Gardner. Uh, maybe I'll get most of them, I'm not too sure. Maybe not both 22s, but for sure the rest of them. All right guys, so after the 22 grinning, we got this one right here, which was the Harry Potter with invisibility cloak. And this is one that I really wanted just because I know there's two different versions of this one, but I mean, they're not so different, so I didn't really care which one I got. So I figured I might as well just get the common one because it's cheaper. And I have been getting a couple of these ones out of the set. I have Ron Weasley barfing slugs and now the Harry Potter with invisibility cloak. And I figured they were gonna do one of these figures in the future where it was Harry Potter with the invisibility cloak. I just wish they did it where it was like covering him completely and you just saw like almost like a, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like kind of like a clear cloak going down, but there was no figure on the inside to see like you could see through it. I thought that would have been really cool. Um, Funko, if you want to do that, I would love to see that figure. Instead of him just kind of like holding the one that you can see in the front, it's not as fun. But I hope I explained that well enough. Do you guys know what I mean? It's kind of like, eh, for example, like the SpongeBob napkin. I hope this makes sense. Or like a ghost with a sheet, but it's clear. I don't know guys, either way, I really like this figure, but I do think it would be cool to see the other version as well. And then guys, the last pop that I picked up today over at EB Games was this one right here. So this is the Alan Dutch from Predator. Now I got this one because I already have the Predator one from this set. It's kind of the one where he's like, I, I actually, you guys let me know what it was. I thought it was him kind of like turning translucent, but it's actually because his like invisibility is broken. So it's kind of like in between, which I thought was pretty neat. But yeah, this one right here has some really great detail to it. I also like how they made the mud dripping. I think that looks really great. It does have the EB Games exclusive sticker, which is also really cool but yeah overall I'm just a huge fan of the way this one looks well anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that was a little bit of an insight into the SDCC exclusive situation over here in Canada because we do get in a good amount of them it just seems to be a lot later than what you guys would be getting them in over in the US or any other country really I think the UK is probably about the same as ours um, but I'm not too sure because I don't live there but it does sound like it's pretty similar to Canada with the stories that a lot of people have told me but anyways like I said hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you just want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been an episode of Top Ops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. 
Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.